Monday. First official day of summer for me as far as my summer schedule. No makeup, y'all. I've got some moisturizer, some ID puffer, and some mascara on, and some lip gloss. That's what we're rocking today because I don't have to film any videos besides these vlogs. But I figured y'all like it real and seeing the real me. So here we are, full frontal for you guys. So we are at the gym. I am pumped because I haven't been to the gym in over a week. So I am excited to get back in here and get it done. Breakfast this morning, two boiled eggs, a sausage patty, and yes, we are rocking the bang drink this morning. Um, classic autism. So for my autism mommies and daddies out there, I know there's so many of y'all out there that can definitely relate, but Trey has not been sleeping well at all. He has trouble sleeping in general, always has. I don't know if it's like an autism thing, but the boy doesn't like to sleep. He likes to be up all the time. So I was up with him most of the night last night and uh, this girl didn't get much sleep. So I'm looking pretty good for not having any much sleep, I have to say, but this bangs get me through. So I'm going to be drinking the bangs probably Monday through Wednesday in the mornings instead of coffee since I'm going to the gym because I used to drink these prior to going to the gym or pre-gym um, when I was going in the afternoons. Y'all get what I'm saying? Because I'm going in the mornings now. I've got a ton of things on my plate, guys. Look at my list. I don't do a planner. I just write it on a Dollar Tree notepad trying to use them up because it's a serious problem. Uh, but I got a lot to do today. I'm super pumped and nervous at the same time because I'm doing a podcast with Keto Steve here on YouTube as well. I've never done a podcast before ever, so I'm super nervous about it. But he's amazing. And by the time that you're seeing this video, that podcast had already posted. So I will have it linked in the iCards above and down in the description box. Definitely go and check it out because it's going to be, I'm sure, I haven't done it yet, but just future self, uh, telling a lot of my story as far as what I haven't told in my How I Lost 85 Pounds video. There's some things that I plan on bringing up if he asks um, on the podcast that I think that you guys might be interested in. So definitely go and check out that podcast with Steve and go and check out his channel because his editing skills are on par, like so phenomenal. Like y'all have got to go and check him out. He's amazing. Go show him some love and tell him that I sent you. So let's get in this gym and get it done. Of 
running on the treadmill, walking, running. So that was nice, but I just focused on arms. I have a lot to learn as far as the bars over there in the intimidation zone. Sorry if the air is loud, but it is 90 degrees already and it is 10 o'clock. So, oh my God, what is it gonna be like for July and August around here? We have like record breaking heat already and it's not even July and August and that's our hottest time of the year. Oh my God, help me, help me, send help. But I got a lot to learn with the bar over there in the intimidation zone, but I was feeling it. I did a lot of the cable stuff. So I obviously couldn't film because there's nowhere for me to prop up my camera over there but I did a bunch of cable stuff, which was nice. I did some of the cable rows. So y'all saw I did a lot of stuff as far as just arms go, but tomorrow I plan on focusing on legs and squats, which is gonna be killer. And then Wednesday is gonna be like a lanyap day. So it might be a combination of both arms and legs or the 30 minute circuit. I don't even know. We're gonna play around with it and I'm excited about it. So I'm on a time crunch y'all like bad because I'm supposed to do that podcast at 11. It is 1025, I have to go to the PO box. What is my life? Always, always in a hurry. I'm scratching things off my list, guys, but the struggle is real. The struggle is real. So I feel you out there, everybody, mommies, daddies that have always got their plate fully loaded with things to do, and you're trying to make it all happen in no time. That is all day, every day around here. So I'm getting things crossed off my list. I did my podcast with Steve. It was amazing. Definitely go and check it out. He is amazing. Such an awesome, genuine person. So thank you so much, Steve. That was so awesome. You definitely calmed me down with my jitters I had initially, but I've got a video uploading, but guys, it is 1.30 and we haven't eaten lunch. We gotta get to it. So lunch today is a Cobb salad, if you will. I've got some turkey breast from the deli and I've got a whole avocado that needs to be eaten ASAP, one egg, some cheese, some bacon, and some cucumbers and some spring slash spinach mix. So I kept it in my big bowls that I would take for work because I like to put, and I even portioned it out, guys, because even though I'm at home, I still wanna have the same portion. So like you can go crazy at home with just putting like spoonfuls of dressing on here, but I'm trying to keep everything portioned still even though I'm not at work like I did before. So yeah, I might be dirtying up a little cup, but we're keeping it portion size. Of course. We killed it. So I'm prepping some egg roll in a bowl, y'all, before I have to go get Trey. I am on a time crunch, like what is my life, y'all? This is one of my new go-tos besides my salad. I really like this and taco bowls. Put the lid on this and we are gonna go and get Trey because it's 314, we gotta pick him up at four. Y'all, it is 102. The Zevia is gonna give me some caffeine. It's gonna cool me down, girl. But Lord, what am I gonna do, y'all? Like, this is a problem. So back home from picking up the boys, so I went ahead and portioned out my egg roll in a bowl. So mine did three servings, but I like huge servings, as y'all can see, um, for my lunches, really high fat and protein, which I'm all about. So this made three. Last time I made it, I portioned it into two. Like, I made two hella big sizes for portions, but you could probably stretch it for four, y'all, if y'all are doing this for dinner, but I highly recommend it. Mexican stuffed peppers on the menu. This is a recipe I got off Pinterest, trying it for the first time, but doesn't that look gorgeous? So I did mine for actually 25 minutes just to get that like goldenness on the cheese there instead of it just being melted. I like that little goldenness on my cheese anyway. Dinner tonight, kids acting great in the background as always. I know y'all can relate. So these are the stuffed peppers. Y'all already saw those. This is the mashed cauliflower from the Southern Keto Cookbook. So easy, so delicious. You're not gonna know the difference. Trust me on it if you haven't tried it. And then a side salad with the Dat Keto Lady blue cheese dressing, OMG. And then some Brasilia blueberry, one of my top flavors. Guys, they're fighting over blankets and toys. Boy life. So the peppers were amazing. However, I would cook the pepper a little bit more. It was really hard, not like a tender type of consistency, but I love the taste of red pepper, so it wasn't a problem for me, but I know that's gonna be an issue uh, for Lonnie for sure. Um, but I'll definitely cook them a little bit more next time, but y'all see we killed it. So dessert tonight, we're switching things up and I'm trying this Key Nutrients Keto Cocoa with MCT powder, and that is just with a cup of almond milk and froth, and then of course some Nui cookies. My favorite is the peanut butter and the double chocolate cookie, which has four net carbs and one gram of sugar, gluten, and free for two cookies. These things are amazing, guys. If you have not tried them, they're always linked down below. There's the macros on them. So switching things up and having milk and cookies. Oh, y'all, I found a new favorite. So y'all see, like, 
how thick and creamy this stuff is. Okay, first off, here it is right here. MCT powder, Keto Cocoa by Key Nutrients. The macros on this, boom, right there. If you're wondering, I will have a link down below. I've already asked and reached out for them if they have some kind of like special promo for y'all, but this stuff was so creamy, so chocolatey. It tastes like creamy hot chocolate prior to keto. I'm blown away by this product. I swear to y'all, this stuff is phenomenal. Like you've got to get this in your life ASAP. This was phenomenal with almond milk. Like one of my new favorites, like comparable to me liking Rebel so much. I love this stuff and I've only tried it once. So you're going to get tired of hearing about this. For water day. Say me. Me. You ready? Let's go. Happy Tuesday, y'all. So breakfast this morning, y'all saw was a little parfait. I haven't had a too good yogurt, like a parfait style in a while. So thinking that I'm going to the gym, I can have a little bit more carbs in the morning because we're going to go work them off. So I had that. And then I had my keto coffee with just some preferred keto chocolate collagen with a sprinkle of cinnamon. Guys, if you have not tried cinnamon in your coffee, you are missing out. So definitely put some sprinkle of cinnamon on there. I'm just a big fan of cinnamon. I love it. Uh, I wanted to put the hot cocoa MCT powder up in there for my coffee. And I was like, no, let's just save that for dessert for right now. But y'all, that stuff is amazing like i can't get over how good that stuff was and how creamy and frothy and thick it was and no residue at the bottom yes okay so we are actually parked at the gym i'm going in here to go and kill it hopefully uh my arms are dead like i i'm so glad i'm not doing arms today because i wouldn't be able to lift squat because i, I they are killing me yesterday must have been a killer workout because my arms are on fire you might be thinking girl you said you weren't gonna be wearing makeup i have a ton of stuff to film today so i was like um can't be looking like walking dead on all my other videos so i was like let me go ahead and put some makeup on so that's why i've got full makeup on and you might be thinking well you're going to work out why didn't you put makeup on until afterwards nobody got time for that and the gym's gonna give us a dewy look right we're gonna look all dewy-fied afterwards at least that's what i'm telling myself in the gym three days in a row 
They're gonna be the end of me, but I'm killing it. I'm loving it. Getting it done. So we did legs today. I will say I was struggling today. Um, do y'all have days like where you go to the gym and then the next day, like legit, I went to the bathroom after got done with my workout, went and got my bag, went to the bathroom before I leave and pulling my pants up was a chore because my arms are so freaking sore. Like what is my life? Can y'all relate? Because I was struggling pulling up my pants today. Mm, something's wrong with that situation, I will say. That just shows you how weak my arms are, especially I have no upper body strength. So if I am out of the gym from doing weights and then I go a week without, it's like it all goes away. I don't know. Are y'all the same way when it comes to your arms? Legs, I'm good, but my arms are just so, such a weak point for me. But today we just focused on legs. I didn't get to film in the intimidation zone because y'all, that gym was hella crowded this morning on Tuesday. It was better yesterday on a Monday than on a Tuesday. I thought that was kind of weird, but there was people all around me where I was doing squats, just holding the bar. That's all I did over there. And then I did some Brazilian, what is it? Reverse split squats or something. Y'all know I make up names for this crap. I'm dead. I'm dead. Like, whoo, tomorrow's going to be rough. So I'm just giving y'all a heads up. Tomorrow, this girl's going to be struggling up in the gym. This is good. This is getting my butt in gear. This is what I need. This is fueling me pumping me up. You got this out there, guys. I am just like you. I am a normal person. I am not like a robot by any means. I've had some of y'all comment that like, how do you do it? Guys, I'm just like you and I struggle and I'm tired. We're doing this together. We are on this health journey together and I'm so glad that y'all are along for this ride with me. Y'all inspire and motivate me and I hope that I'm doing the same for you out there. So lunch today, guys, it is 2.20 and I'm just eating lunch because I did an hour and 20 minute long live video. What the heck? And we were talking about smart cakes. Y'all had me craving some. So I went and got the raspberry cream ones. I love this one and the lemons. Probably my favorite. I know so many of y'all love it. I love them all. Y'all love chocolate the best is what y'all tell me. And this is the Keto Connect egg roll in a bowl that I prepped. And like I mentioned in the live, I am drinking a cotton candy bang drink. Cotton candy, cherry limeade, and a pina colada are my top three. I know some of y'all don't like it. It's so funny how we have different taste profiles. So I ate lunch. I got dust bunnies flying everywhere if you see that. But I just got done mopping the floors because the boys should be home any moment hubby socks on the table. What is my life? What are they doing? But we got the floors mopped before the boys come home and destroy it again. But I wanted to get on here and ask y'all, do y'all feel like, especially boy moms, it doesn't matter how many times you mop the floor, they always seem like they're hella dirty. Like y'all see the pad down there. I had to change pads. I never get through with just one pad. It's like two or three because of how dirty the freaking floors are. Happy to be home for summer to get them clean because if not, they stay constantly dirty. So glad to get them clean. And now we're just waiting on the boys and I'm sure they'll come home and destroy the place. So blown away by Keto Candy Girl, y'all. She is on Instagram. Go and follow her. I'll have her in the description box down below. But that Keto Lady raves about her and I I trust her judgment 100% and Keto Candy Girl sent me all this stuff in the mail for review. So the Keto Magic Bars, a cool tank, chocolate chip cookie mix, which is one thing she's known for, Magic Bars, Double Fudge Brownies, Snickerdoodles. What's cool about this is she sends you the mix already pre-done and you just add butter and cream cheese. And you can see right there how keto friendly everything is. It's got the nutrition value on here, the directions, amazing. So if you wanna make your keto life a little bit easier and get your sweet on, Definitely go and follow Keto Candy Girl. So dinner on repeat, we're having those Mexican stuffed peppers again. They were delicious. I'll have that link down below. It's a Pinterest recipe. Um, the Southern Keto mashed cauliflower is amazing and just a side salad with some Dak Keto Lady blue cheese dressing. All right, y'all, so I just made these avocado chocolate brownies. I use that Wilton pan that portions things out perfectly. If you're wondering how they look so perfect, that's why. Got some Lily's chocolate chips on top. I am drinking some more of this hot keto cocoa stuff from Key Nutrients. This stuff is bomb. And this cup is from Etsy, if you're wondering. I will link all the stuff down below. I haven't tried these yet, but Hubby has had like two or three and he claims they're like really awesome. And he hates avocado. And I was like, uh, you know what's in there? And he's like, what? And I told him avocado. And he's like, hard to believe. These are amazing. So we're gonna give these a go. But I did film it for a future foodies. All right, so verdict, Waylon just took a bite, like a big old bite, can't even have nothing. So they were amazing from him. You know what they remind me of? Like old school back in the day TV dinners when they had the brownie in it. 
They taste just like the TV dinner. I know that sounds horrible. But they taste like the TV dinner brownies, like the good ones from back in the day, not like any crappy ones from today. Nobody's eating that now. But they are super moist. Look at this, guys. Super moist. White. Just enough sweetness for me, but if you want more sweetness, the recipe did say to call for more sweetener. I think it was like a half a cup of granular, so you could definitely add more. Or maybe even put a little bit of powdered erythritol on the top of these. That would be awesome. But yes, these are like staple. Holla, yes. Killed it. If y'all could have just saw, if I could have filmed the disaster of getting two kids in the car and the monsoon and rain, it doesn't look bad right now, but it was pouring down. Always keep a towel in your car, y'all. Lifesaver. Happy hump day. So y'all, I told y'all, I am gonna be struggling up in this gym today, three days in a row. My arms are so weak and hurting from that Monday arm workout. Like I told y'all yesterday, I can't even like pull my pants up without it being a struggle. Like what is my life? And now my legs are on fire from leg day yesterday. So I was gonna do a 30 minute circuit and I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna focus on hips and abs today. Like I'm just a glutton for punishment, right? And just be, uh, you know, overall dead for the rest of the week if I, I'm not gonna be coming to the gym until next Monday, so what the actual heck am I doing to myself? But I know I'm gonna feel better in the long run. I'm trying to gain that muscle. My body is in need of the tonage, so we're trying to get it done. This morning, y'all saw I had a different breakfast. Who is she? I had the biscuits and gravy from the Southern Keto Cookbook. That was something I made for dinner actually, what, Saturday or Sunday night? And I had one little portion left, and y'all know I am not about to throw anything that I'm making from scratch for keto away. Let's be reals. Okay. So if I may drop biscuits from the Southern Keto Cookbook and there's only two left, we using it for something else and we're eating it because damn it, I freaking worked hard on that. So <laughs> I do not, I'm not a proponent about wasting or throwing anything away, especially on keto because you work so hard to get it done. So it was delicious. It was a nice treat to have that this morning. And I had my keto coffee with my preferred chocolate. Now I haven't been using the perfect and y'all stay tuned for the end because I have a special promo code from perfect keto for their collagen, for their bars. Um, I love, love, love them. I'm out of their chocolate. What is my life? So I'm, I have some on the way. Thank goodness because the perfect keto chocolate collagen is my absolute favorite, but I use the preferred today, which it's good too, but I like the perfect just a little bit more. Y'all know I've said that before. So we're going to go in the gym. I make up today because I have a lot of filming. I plan on doing today. We'll see. And I got a lot to get done. So let's get in here and get it, y'all.
I'm dead. I'm dead from workouts. We killed it. It's done. I got my bang drink, I'm living my best life. So the gas station right next to the gym sells bang, but they're way more expensive than my local grocery store. But I knew I was gonna be running some errands and wasn't gonna be home for probably another hour and a half. And girl needed some pick me up and needed some drink in her life. So I got this purple guava pear. Y'all have been telling me how freaking good it is. And let me tell you, I was skeptical because unlike Trey, my son, I am not a pear lover at all. And I was like, oh, pears is gonna be crap. Y'all, this is bomb. So purple guava pear. The guava is more prominent than the pear, I will tell you. So if you're like me and you're like, ooh, pear not happening, get it. It's awesome. Like my top threes, and I know you're tired of hearing it, is <laughs> pina colada, cherry and limeade, cotton candy. Top threes. I love the mango one. This one's probably like number four. What is my life? Yes, I love this one. Like, make, let me get another sip because it's good. Oh, yeah, y'all. Y'all get this one. This one's really bomb. Y'all are going to like it. Definitely try it. Our taste buds are all different, but one thing we can all agree on is we like the bang. <laughs> that was decided in the live video the other day. So, yes, yes. Loving that. Workout was killer. So, I did those side planks. Y'all tried doing side planks. Some of y'all messaged me on my last vlog and was like, girl, I don't know how you do it because I can't keep my balance. Trust me, I have really bad balance issues myself. You just got to practice, but I felt those side planks. La I'm still feeling those from last week. So what the actual heck? Yes, do them. They're going to kill you. They're going to be great. Ready for beach season, right? So we got to do what we got to do up in that gym. These abs popping out somewhere. Like, hello, who is she? Is she coming out? There she is. Okay, that's because we're doing side planks and killing ourselves. Yes, yes, you got to do it. I think I'm going to alternate doing like arms, legs, stomach, maybe all cardio in the 30 minute circuit. Now that I'm going three days in a row, it's killing me. At least before I had like a couple of days spread and I was like, okay, I'm refreshed. And now I'm like hitting it hard every day. I'm like, oh snap. So it's kind of been rough. Dollar Tree, he got me again. Lunch today is a Cobb salad, chef salad, chef salad. I've got one piece of turkey, deli meat. I've got a whole egg in there, a whole avocado. Yes, you heard me right. I like to eat a whole avocado. Spring mix with spinach, cheese, little bacon crumbles. And we're going to be putting the Dak Keto Lady Blue Cheese dressing in here. I made a fresh batch last night. This is how much it makes, guys. It's super simple and easy and delicious. She always has, she also has a ranch one as well if you're not a fan of blue cheese, but we are. So I like to portion it out like I told y'all earlier in the week. We're gonna shake this up and we're gonna go to town. Also failed to mention, I am drinking a root beer by Zevia. This is like my top one and the cherry cola for sure. However, I tried the cream soda because they sent some to me. If y'all follow me on Instagram, I show like the really sweet package they sent to me, which was amazing. Cream soda is amazing. Y'all were all messaging me like the cream soda is the best, y'all. That one has the least aftertaste to me is the cream soda. It tastes like vanilla, very, very smooth and velvety if you haven't tried that one. And I'm gonna kill this smart cake. Destroyed it. So I'm working on dinner and we're making roasted Parmesan asparagus. This was like on sale for $3 a pound at my store. And then we're also going to be attempting fried chicken in the air fryer keto style. And I paid for this entire package $2.51. It's on sale. So my advice, y'all, y'all always say keto is too expensive. It does not have to be. This entire thing of chicken, $2.50. That was like three bucks. So you could definitely do like a whole meal for a family for less than five dollars on keto and it still be keto friendly. You just my tip is to follow the sales at your local store and get what's on sale and cater your meal plan around that. So here we go go dinner tonight side salad with blue cheese dressing here is the fried chicken I'll let you know and the asparagus is amazing in the oven just parmesan cheese garlic salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil yes please so this is what I'm worried about so it's actually really good uh, if you've never made chicken in the air fryer you need to because it's so moist and delicious boys acting cray in the background oh, you hear this <laughs> but it is super good, guys. Um, I would make some adjustments. So I'm not going to share it fully with y'all yet, um, but I'm going to tweak this and perfect it, and it's going to be delicious when you finally do see it. It's a problem. We've already confessed. We know this, but we're doing it every day if we can. It's too expensive, but I just we just can't help ourselves. Once you once you start, 
You can't stop. It's like Lay's potato chips. Wasn't that the, sla the saying for them or like Pringles or something? They need to have that on their box somewhere. Like once you try this, you are like addicted and there's no going back. So limiting myself to half is so freaking hard. Once you start, like I said, you want to eat this whole thing plus another one. Darn you rebel. Happy Thursday. Got our Starbucks on. So my order that I've been obsessed with y'all, I've been posting it all over Instagram. It is on my Starbucks video, so I'll have it linked up above. I've made some tweaks to it. So this is the Grande Blonde Roast, which is really good. One pump of uh, sugar-free cinnamon dolce, which does not have maltodextrin in it. Their sugar-free vanilla does. If you're worried about that. Extra heavy cream. So we're getting carbs from the heavy cream and you're done and cinnamon powder y'all cinnamon powder is key and then i bring my own pure and i put a pure packet in it so supposedly their monk fruit sweetener here has maltodextrin in it but somebody told me that they've changed it to a good formula now i don't know i got a smart boy i got a blueberry muffin for waylon and he is not having it y'all know he loves his blueberry muffins but he's just not having it this morning but it does look delicious but i got him a chocolate milk too so there's not many options honestly for like kiddos to eat here at Starbucks I find but we're on the go we are actually going to the movies today to go and see Aladdin so I'm excited about that so I'll take y'all along as much as I can for that we're gonna go kill some time before the movie starts outfit of the day guys just shorts from Target they are the universal thread this is a cactus t-shirt that I got from Gap Outlet and then of course my Converse so yeah we're just Waiting for the movie to start, killing some time. I think we're going to go to Hobby Lobby because a little bird told me that all their farmhouse stuff is 75% off, which y'all know I can't stay up out of there for that 75% off sale last year. We killed it over there. My body feels like a Mack truck hit me. Waylon's does too, by the way he looks. Uh, yeah, those three days in a row workout, killer. And I'm taking a break today. So I'm enjoying my keto coffee. We're going to go see a movie. Going to go have a little bit of retail me therapy. And we're going to let these muscles kind of die down. Kidding me right now, Hobby Lobby? Already has fall stuff out. What is our life? So all my spring stuff is still 50% off. Womp womp. Some people's apparently is marked down to 75, but they do have some home decor for 75%. And they've got some cute things. Like this is only $6. Look how pretty that is. And this over here is 10 bucks. So they do have $10. They do have some cute stuff. However, the generic spring stuff isn't marked down yet, y'all. But y'all keep an eye out. This farmer's market, like wooden crate craziness because this thing was originally $60. Like who the actual heck would pay $60 for this? I don't even know. But it's on sale for $15. In my opinion, I still think that's too high for this. But who? Guys, who would pay $60 for that? I wish this didn't have a flaw in it because I would totally buy that. It says gather and it looks like a big cutting board. And you can put this on an easel in your kitchen. That is freaking cute. And five bucks. Originally 20 But it's got a big old crack in it. Walked out of Hobby Lobby with nothing. What is our life? I don't even know, but disappointed that they didn't have the spring stuff marked down yet, but y'all know this girl's gonna keep my eye out for it. This one is PO'd because uh, he wanted a treat and they really don't have treats in the Hobby Lobby. So we still got an hour to kill before the movie. We're trying five below next, but what in the heck am I thinking? Out in this rain, torrential rain from this disturbance with a three-year-old. Come on, movie tapper, we need earlier show times. to show y'all what I got. So one of y'all reached out and told me that Five Below had the eight pound weights for $5 a dumbbell. So I went ahead and got two of those. So $10 for eight pounds and they are flipping heavy y'all. They didn't have 10 pounds if you're wondering. Eight pounds was the heaviest 
And then I also got that makeup mat. I thought that was kind of cool to put on my vanity and to just to brush off. I have all kinds of like flying powders and excess. So I thought that was cool and it's machine washable. What'd you get, Way? America. Uh huh. Aladdin time. Wait, wait. What are we going to see? Aladdin? Yeah. Yeah. Someone couldn't hang, y'all. He fell asleep. He's got a sleepy face. The movie was super good, y'all. So I skipped all the movie junk and waited until almost two o'clock now to have my lunch, but I got a cherry cola Zevia for the caffeine, but this is one of my top two flavors, the root beer, and this one's my favorite. Some Too Good yogurt, I've been indulging on this, and y'all know I love this stuff. That's the blueberry one. I've got five slices of pepperoni from the deli and five slices of pepper jack and a little spoonful of pecans, and this is gonna be my get me through until dinner time. Look who I found. Say hi, Trey. <laughs> a couple of y'all were asking on Instagram, y'all, that y'all were messaging me about these and saying, hey, do you have one of these for Trey? And we've had this one for a while. So I got this off Etsy. I'll link it down below. And this one I got that says nonverbal autism and it says medical data inside. So inside there's like a uh, Velcro thing right here and you open it up, there's a pocket and we have all of his like medical information, insurance and stuff in case something, God forbid, would ever happen and like me drive and I get in a wreck or something and something happens to me, he can't tell him anything about himself. So I have everything inside of here. Actually, like there's the paper right there. I need to put in the little pockets coming out. But this is soft on him too. He loves it for that and all his information's in there. So all my autism mommies and daddies, if you're in the hunt, you can get anything put on here as far as the stitching and it was very affordable. Testing the ketones out. Whoa, 1.0. Usually it's like 0 0.5, 0 0.7 for me, so that's pretty high. Um, I think the highest I've ever gotten was like 1.4, but 0.5 and above, y'all, means that you're in um, ketosis, basically. So about to eat. I just wanted to check and see what they were, and that is a good number. So I was so hungry earlier after taking my ketone levels, and I didn't show you my dinner, but it was just leftover, so it's nothing new. But I am eating the rest of my Rebel ice cream, and yes, I am using a little baby spoon because I find that when you use a smaller spoon, you take smaller bites, and you can indulge and last longer. At least that's the philosophy I'm going with, okay? And then I'm sitting here about to start meal planning and making a grocery list for the next week. Bye Felicia. Go go Power Rangers don't you ever stop. Let's go. We have a sun screened up and we are having water time. Get them out the house and let them get this energy out. Yes. Good morning TGIF. I'm out here sweating my booty off, y'all. It is so stinking hot. However, I'm about to get in that water with them. That's why I got this bathing suit on because I'm not about to be sweating out here all freaking day. But it's already like 100 degrees where I live every day and it's just now June. What is our life down here? Oh my God, I don't know. What we're gonna do when it's August in July because that's the hottest times down here. Breakfast this morning, y'all saw I had keto pancakes that's only because the hubby actually had like a stomach virus over the weekend and he did not eat the pancakes that i made sorry y'all are shaking over the weekend um so i saved the batter i will say it doesn't come out as fluffy when you save the batter but they tasted darn delicious so that's what i had this morning and then bathing suit of the day if y'all watch my cup sheet haul, this is from cup sheet. I actually have more that they sent me that I need to try on that are a little bit more risque. I went out of my comfort zone. I haven't tried them on yet, but I just know I'm going to be like, oh snap, when I go to try them on. But this is what we're doing today. We are trying to get energy out today. We're enjoying the sun because it's been raining pretty much all week here. And then we're going to be going out to eat somewhere later this evening. So just enjoying the time with the boys, enjoying this nice weather, y'all. And you know what? As far as exercising and losing weight, Go get out in that sun. The vitamin D is good for you. You're going to sweat out some of that unwanted toxins in your body. And you know what? Do a couple of things out here. Run around after your kids and you're going to burn some calories for sure. So finally inside after playing for like three or four hours, Lord, I hope they take a nap after they eat. They're eating lunch right now. It's my egg roll in a bowl. So I prepped it. Y'all saw I got some sesame seeds and some sesame oil. However, my chives that I diced earlier in the week. Apparently one of the boys decided to play with them in the little container in the fridge so I don't have my diced chives, which I'm sad about. Dang it, boys, mom life. And I've got some ginger root beer from Zevia. I'm gonna eat along with this. So I thought that egg roll in a bowl could hold me over until dinner. It's like 3.20. 
And Mama is hungry, so we're gonna bust out a keto snack to tie this through, and I think I'm gonna go with the keto bars. I love these things. I have some new ones to try as well, but both of these I can highly recommend, the almond butter brownie and the chocolate chip cookie dough. And also, guys, I wanna mention that if you've been wanting to try the collagen, definitely look down below. I have a special promo code that today, if you're watching on Monday and Tuesday, you get 20% off the collagen only. It's only for their collagen, but I am in love with the chocolate. I really recommend the chocolate one, but um, I also have 15% off if you want to try their bars with another code down below. So I'm going to go in with one of these to tie this over until dinner. Probably going to go in. This is probably my favorite by far. All right, y'all. So we are legit going to eat and I just got done getting out the shower, so I have wet hair, but I have it braided. Walmart earrings. Top is from Target that I tied because it is bigger, so I like the way it looks when it's tied. And shorts are from Universal Thread and rocking some Old Navy flip-flops. So that is just the going out outfit of the day. Can you imagine? <laughs> So I say we should have dessert every night and y'all know I do. If you watch these vlogs, I never skip out on dessert and we just got back from Texas Roadhouse and I ate a ton, but I'm still living it up. So I've got that keto cocoa from Key Nutrients, y'all. That stuff is so bomb. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And it just tastes like hot cocoa, but I love it with some almond milk. And then I'm eating one of these avocado brownies now I will say this is only my second one because hubby has eaten the entire plate so he hates avocado but he loves these damn brownies and they are so good y'all Saturday, happy weekend. So we are actually on the way to Whole Foods and pick up a Sam's Club order with both boys in tow. Pray for me. You know, pray for me. Yes, come on now. I picked the winners for the Jordan's Skinny Syrup promo codes, $5 off promo codes. You know I have a million of them. I need to give them away. So I will pop up a screenshot of the people that were chosen and definitely check your Instagram inboxes to see your promo code. So you can go over to Jordan Skinny Syrup and go and get you some. I highly recommend the white chocolate mocha, but it, it is seasonal just for Christmas. So I don't think they have it. However, birthday cake is what I've been using in replacement for almond milk in my pancakes, y'all. And it tastes so flipping good. So try the birthday cake in your pancakes if you do my fluffy pancake recipe. Congratulations to all 20 people who won the $5 promo code. Another thing I want to mention is for the Key Nutrients Cocoa, the hot cocoa. It is so flipping good. They gave me five 10% off promo codes. I do have a link down below that is just for everybody that'll take you to the actual hot cocoa, um, but I don't think you get a discount with that link, unfortunately. However, they gave me five promo codes for 10% off. The first five people who comment their Instagram username, I will DM you those promo codes for 10% off of that hot cocoa from Key Nutrients. Amazing. So I always do like top comments anyway. So it puts them in order from first to most current. So the first five people I will choose if you put your Instagram handle there and DM you those promo codes from Key Nutrients. So that's amazing. Also, I want to mention, I just have so much, so much goodness to sprinkle out there to y'all today. Perfect Keto. I mentioned this on my live video. They are giving me a high value 20% promo code for y'all. So NB Collagen 20, if you enter that as a discount code at checkout, and I will also have the link and everything in the description box down below, you'll get 20% 20, 20 off all their collagens. I highly recommend the chocolate one. Y'all saw me use that one this morning for my coffee. It makes your coffee taste like hot chocolate or chocolate milk. So flipping good. And collagen is amazing for your hair, your skin, and your nails, y'all. I highly recommend collagen in your daily routine, whether you're doing keto or not. So definitely go and check that out because usually my promo code only gets you 15% off, but this will get you 20% off collagens only stuff. 
definitely go and check that out at Perfect Keto. A lot of y'all have been waiting for that. Here it is, y'all. Go and get you some. Today and tomorrow is the only days that you can use the promo code NBCollagen20 for the 20% off for the collagens at Perfect Keto, June 10th and 11th. I am so excited for a lot of y'all. Y'all been messaging me on Instagram saying that you are just now starting your keto journey. A lot of y'all have trying to be in, talking y'all off the ledge. And if I can be there for you, I definitely will be. So if you're having a hard moment, if you had a rough moment, if you cheated, whatever, and you just need to talk to somebody and get a little bit of fire under your butt, send me a DM over Instagram and I'll be that person for y'all. Because remember I said in my live, Gina Schweppe was that person for me. So if I can be that person for one person out there to have you stay the course, I'm going to be your girl. So definitely go and hit me up on Instagram. So thank you all so much for watching. Y'all give this video a thumbs up, guys. Please give the video a thumbs up. It helps me so, so much for these videos. Y'all just don't even know. So I haven't been mentioning that on the vlogs, but if you enjoy these vlogs every single week, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it on Facebook. Share it with a friend. That also helps circulate the video as well, and it definitely helps me and the fam out. So we definitely appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed already, guys, what are you waiting for? We're doing everything keto, everything low carb over here. So if you want to follow my journey, definitely smash that subscribe button and make sure your notification bell is clicked as well. I plan on, I'm working on a keto for beginners video, y'all, and I plan on uploading it this Saturday, this Saturday. So if you've been waiting and holding on for that, make sure your notification bell is clicked or subscribe if you want to see a keto for beginners video, because that is going to be coming to you. Hopefully this Saturday, I've been working on it, trying to make it perfect for y'all before I post it. So love you guys so much. Y'all have an amazing Monday. Y'all have an awesome week, y'all. Kill it in the gym. Kill it at home at at-home workouts. Stay the course keto. If you make a mistake, pick it up next keto snack, keto meal. We got this out there. We are doing this together. Come and message me on Instagram if you need some more motivation. Follow me over there because I'm trying to motivate y'all everywhere that I can so we can get healthy and I have some exciting things coming up for y'all so you definitely don't want to miss out. And I love y'all and y'all are killing it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.